Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video and today we are going to do another round of the random pack opening. We did this video a couple weeks ago and found some nice stuff, had a, a good time doing it, going through all these different releases that you can see here from recent years. I think the oldest pack I might have is from 2015 or 2016, but most of these packs come from the last three years, 2018, 2019, 2020. And we do have a sponsor. Jaron B is going to get all of the cards in this video. He signed up on my Patreon page uh, to do that. So Jaron, thank you very much. I hope you get some good stuff in here. We'll be looking out for any autograph or relic cards today and also putting aside all of those numbered cards, hoping to find some nice low numbered cards. So let's start up here at the bottom, I guess. I'm gonna start off, I have about three or four packs of each product. I'm gonna start with 2018 Topps Heritage featuring the Sandlot uh, cards from way back in the day and see what we can find. Um, in fact, I think probably what I'll do is, eh, I was thinking about maybe doing all four at once, but let's get started. We got Nikki Delmonico rookie card. Looking out for rookies, Alex Verdugo, a rookie card. He will now be in the outfield for the Boston Red Sox. And there we go. We get a nice one right off the bat. A Ronald Acuna Jr. and Ozzy Albies rookie card in the very first pack. So congrats, Jaron, on that one. I know people love getting their hands on Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie cards. And there we go. A nice 1981 style design. Reminds me of the good old Fernando Valenzuela rookie card he's on there i think with mike Sosha in that 81 set so here's our next pack see if we find any other rookie cards or low numbered cards this pack didn't have too much in terms of total value for jaron those sandlot autograph cards usually hold some nice value to them there's a nice harrison bader rookie card he had a bit of a down year last year but uh based off his i uh, look at this another ronald acuna jr two acunas in within two packs of each other. These packs came out of a blaster box. Unfortunately, this one has a bit of a little bit of a ding in the corner there, but two Acuna Juniors in the first three packs. How about that one? Jaron, congratulations on that. Let's see what we get out of this final archives one. Um, I don't know. We'll see what the best card is that we pulled today. So far, those Acuna Juniors are going to be, uh, I don't know, Maybe tough to beat off the bat. But we got Series 2 tops here. We've got tops update from 2019. We've got the bat down search 2018 top Series 2. Let's go and now do some more Heritage. This is um, Heritage from 2018. Let's check these out. We just did Archives. Now we're doing Heritage. Sometimes um, those two can kind of get confused because they both kind of toss it back so we have a reese hoskins rookie card getting lots of nice rookies tonight there's a trey mancini gold cup card and a 2018 rookie stars card of jp crawford who's now is i guess with the mariners uh last i heard had didn't make too much of an impact last year stephen vote is the first one in pack number two. There's Ichiro, who will be a Hall of Famer for sure one day. There's a Corey Seager Tops News. Frankie Lindor. We're going to have to do a Frankie Lindor rookie card search on the channel at some point because um, he is just a major, major star. And I feel like that card is going to be worth a lot of money um, very soon as he continues his ascent through the uh, superstardom ranks there. There's a nice Mike Trout tops news with Carlos Correa and Jonathan Scope is the last one there. So let's go and get these minor league ones out of the way. Some of you guys might hate minor league cards, but they're kind of fun. We might see some players that made their appearance last year. For example, AJ Puck, his rookie card is now in 2020 tops and he's a decent rookie. I believe also, if I'm not mistaken, Tim Tebow has a card in this set. There's Casey Mize. And O'Neill Cruz is just a major, major power hitting uh, prospect for the Pirates. He's like six foot six and he's shortstop. Casey Mize, of course, number one pick for the Tigers, and he's going to be a big time impact player for them. Let's see what we get out of our next pack of Heritage Miners. Any. Uh, major names. Uh, Forrest Whitley was a major name a few years ago. Not so great since the PED thing. I guess it was PEDs. I know that he ran into some trouble with the law. There's Rumble Ponies. I was hoping that was going to be a Tim Tebow because I think he is on the Rumble Ponies in his car. There's Austin Riley. You guys know Austin Riley from the Braves. He came up and made a nice impact. There's a nice Julio Pablo Martinez card. That's a good one. And here's our last pack. 
Oh, I picked out, I didn't want to do too many of each product, so I limited limited it to four max per release. There's a nice Ryan Weathers. I like Ryan Weathers a lot. Nolan Gorman from the Cardinals is a good one. Taylor Trammell is another great prospect. Our second, Casey Mize, and the second, O'Neill Cruz as well. So <clears throat> let's continue on here. We're kind of working our way across the bottom row. I guess let's eliminate this hodgepodge of packs. Um, I, I'm doing 73 packs today. Most of these have three or four packs, but I did have a couple random packs laying around. We're going to do this one first. It's a 2015 Don Ross Hobby Pack. You can see a 1981 style design on the top. Nice David Ortiz. And then we have D. Gordon. And here's our base cards. Carlos Gomez, Matt Kemp. And unfortunately, no hit in there. Actually, I don't even think we've found a numbered card yet. I have to keep my eyes glued for those. Um, some nice rookie cards so far. Next, we have Heritage High Number. There's a Joe Harvey rookie card. Bryce Harper and Reese Hoskins there. Nick Kingham. And uh, nothing crazy going on in that one. 2017 Top Series 2. I've been seeing these back on the shelves recently, which has been kind of confusing. I guess they had some of these laying around. And uh, when I've been out grocery shopping, I always stop by the baseball card section. And I've noticed these making a comeback. They're still $19.99 per box. But there's a nice Hunter Dozier. Hunter Dozier rookie card. Eric Hosmer. Edwin Diaz, of course, um, now with the Mets. Um, didn't have a great year last year, but hopefully he can bounce back. Let's do 2016 Don Ross and see what we pull out of this pack. Getting all these random Don Ross ones out of the way. Edwin Encarnacion. There's Clayton Kershaw. Uh, I was hoping there was going to be a hit in there, but that's a Prince Fielder and Manny Machado is the last one. 2018 Don Ross. I only have one pack of this. And then after that, I have three or four of all the rest of these. We might as well... Knock out that bottom row first. Franchise leaders card there is not too bad with uh, Killebrew and also uh, Rod Crew. Do we have a hit here? I think we might have a hit. USA Pride, could this be an autograph? It should at least be a numbered card. It's our first numbered card of the day. Card number 278 out of 999. So Jake McCarthy is the first numbered card. I was hoping that we'd pull an autograph there. Sometimes when they're upside down, they are autographed, but that one wasn't autoed, but eh, that's okay. Moving along now, I'm going to move these packs down a little bit. Just It just looks nicer in the background to have just a bunch of packs to look at, doesn't it? It's kind of like a nice backdrop. Let's do these three Topps Heritage packs. These are retail, I don't know if I'd call them hanger packs, but they, they kind of are, I guess. Three retail packs, nine cards each. We're looking for numbered cards or... Short prints as well. Those are numbered 400, 401 actually to 500. Nothing in that particular pack. Also have to keep an eye out for those OPG backs. The uh, short prints in this product are one in every three packs. So I would hope that we find one. There's a nice Zach Gallen rookie card. And how about that one? Dustin May and Gavin Lux. Literally one of the top. I'd, I'd probably put that second best card in the base set. Uh, right behind the Aquino slash Jordan Alvarez rookie card. I would consider that Lux and May to be the number two best card in this set. So nice pull there for Jaron. Congrats on that one. And here is our third pack. Still no numbered card. Home run leaders card with Pete Alonso smashed 53 home runs. A. Eugenio Suarez hit 49 for second place. Those guys definitely brought it last season. Looks like nothing to write home about there except for a nice Hunter Dozier. So we got a Dozier rookie. Now we got a Dozier short print. We'll put that one aside and get that one in the sleeve for Jaron. All right, so moving right along off the camera. You can't see them, but I have three retail packs of 2016 Tops update. Let's open these up and see if there's any nice rookies that can be found in this set. There's Zach Britton. If I'm not mistaken, I think maybe Trevor Story is in this set rookie card. Jose Barrios rookie. Very nice. Rookie debut. He's a good one. You guys know all about Jose Barrios. He has since become a star. Tyler Naquin rookie card from the Cleveland Indians. And there's Matt Wieters about ready to catch a foul pop there. He's kind of faded out. I think he's a backup catcher now with the Cardinals. Or a last check he was. He was a star for a few years there with the Orioles. And when the Orioles were doing their thing and being a playoff contender. Hey, Trevor Story's the last card there. And a Mike Clevenger rookie card. So another very nice rookie. Clevenger is a good one for sure. 
And uh, let's check that story out and see if that's a rookie as well. There's Zach Duke. Uh, we have a Kenta Maeda. That's a Topps Fire promo card there or um, preview. That's a pretty nice-looking card. There's Shamanaya, another good one. And there's the Trevor Story. So that might be the best rookie you can find in this, this particular set. And, Darren, you found it. Congrats on that one. Let's open up this last pack. We've got a weird cardboard spacer in this one. Well, that's actually just... Uh, sensor to make sure you're not stealing the packs they put those randomly inserted into blaster boxes and so on and so forth hey we've got a numbered card it's a cody reed it's a tops gold card this one is going to be numbered 10 15 out of 2020 not beating the jake mccarthy i'm paying close attention this is a beautiful ken griffey jr by the way that card is just gorgeous albert amora rookie debut card i'm paying attention to the numbered cards by the way because we're running a little contest on patreon right now i told them to guess uh, the lowest numbered card out of here and whoever guessed it right would win all of the cards from our toss back tuesday video we opened up uh, packs of 1989 fleer 89 bowman and 89 don russ looking for ken griffey jr rookie cards anyway uh, we got Optic coming up next. There's four of these per pack. This, this is a nice product right here. We can see Gary Sanchez on the back. It's like Don Russ design, except um, there's a nice Mitch Garver, pink parallel rated rookie. And also we have a Gary Sanchez. So kind of if you're familiar with Tops and Tops Chrome, kind of the same idea. They take their Don Russ cards and they spruce them up, make them look nice and sweet. And they give you these pink pink prism parallels and we've got a rated rookie here of chance cisco it's an auto an autograph chance cisco so we have our first autograph of the video it's also a nice low numbered card it is a green prism and it's numbered 47 of 125 so very nice on that one um uh, pretty excited i'm sorry if i got a little too excited there there's a nice pack by the way reese hoskins pink prism parallel and also, we have a Miguel Andujar, a rated rookie. So a bunch of nice rookies coming out of there. I think these are actually from a blaster box. That's why I got super pumped on the um, Chant Cisco Auto. Um, had a couple extra blast blaster boxes of this product laying around. So I figured I'd open one up, put some packs in. And lo and behold, we get an autograph. There's a Yadier Molina pink prism parallel. Those aren't numbered. They're pretty sweet, though. Looks like there's one in every pack on average. Let's see what else we can find. We have Chris Sale, Chipper Jones. There's another nice Yadier Molina. And Tyler Wade, rookie card, is the last one there. So let's move up to the top left. Let's do some Tops Big League from 2019. You guys might remember Big League. I think we did it in May of last year was when we did this product. Not the greatest high-end product, but still pretty fun. There's a Willie Adames. These aren't numbered, but they are still, I don't know what we call them, yellow parallels or what. Walker Bueller and Alan Hansen is the last one in that first pack. Here's pack number two. Lots of packs to open. I think a grand total of 73 packs is what I picked. There's a nickname, Nick Castellanos. Eloy Jimenez, or as he calls himself, Eloy Jimenez. That is a rookie card, and that is a nice one. Going in the good pile for sure. Some good hits today for Jaron. Um, I don't know what he's going to be most excited about for me. Um, it's between the Acuna Juniors. I guess it's going to have to be the Acuna Junior rookie card um, with a close second to the Gavin Lux, Dustin May. I love that card. I feel like that's um, that and the Aquino slash Jordan Alvarez are going to Hold their value over the years. Here's our last pack from Big League. You Darvish is the first one there. We have an, a Jose Altuve tipping his cap. Christian Yelts. We have a numbered 11 of 50 black and white. So that takes the lead as our lowest numbered card. For those of you on Patreon uh, participating in our contest, card number 11 is the lucky number right now. Herman Marquez, 11 of 50. Uh, is the leader. Nice one right there. Black and white. Those black and white parallels are usually out of 150. Let's move up to the top and do these 2018 Stadium Club packs with Chris Bryant on the front. Stadium Club, a beautiful release. Nice, uh, beautiful pictures. There's Goldie Freeman, a power-up Bryce Harper insert card, a black and white Sandy Koufax. Those aren't numbered. They're just really cool to look at. And Sean Newcomb is the last one. In pack number one. Pack number two. As we work our way towards um, some of the stuff in the middle there, some of you are probably like, just do the uh, 2018 packs already of Series 2. There's Mike Trout, Power Zone card, nice-looking card there. Another Sandy Koufax and another Sean Newcomb, so almost a duplicate pack. 
Uh, pretty nice insert there, though, with the Mike Trout. Pack number three, we got a Frankie Lindor. We've got an orange parallel, and it's going to be a good one there. It's an Aussie Albies rookie card. Very nice Aussie Albies orange parallel rookie. That's going in the sleeve for sure. Strasburg and Brad Ziegler throwing all crazy sidearm. Definitely has to be tougher players to pick up on that delivery, especially for righties. We got J.D. Davis, another orange parallel is coming up there. This one is another good one. It's a Mike Trout orange parallel. Congratulations on that one, Darren. Some good ones right there. Paul Blackburn, rookie card. And we have Paul DeYoung as the last one there. So let's continue to work our way in towards the, I would consider the stuff in the middle to be the stuff I'm most excited about. So I'm working my way into it. I'm, we're doing some tops opening day right now. These are from a hobby box that I picked up, a quote unquote hobby box. Um, had a couple of these left over after our retail break. There's a Dustin May rookie card. That's a decent one. With opening day, it's kind of tough to pull autographs, but it can be done. I feel like it's roughly, oh, I don't know, one in every seven to ten boxes or something like that. The card we're after, though, in this set is the Luis Robert Super Short Print, one in 360 packs. There's also some relics in here, which is like game-used dirt, which is kind of interesting. It's a Sean Murphy rookie card, not too bad. And there's also an insert in every pack. These are great packs for kids. Or people just getting into the hobby that might be on a budget and might just want to kind of feel their way into it. Definitely a nice little product. You can get some good rookie cards in this set. Uh, Bo Bichette, Jordan Alvarez, Gavin Lux, etc. So now let's continue on in. Let's do the 2018 Top Series 1. This set is growing in popularity, at least with me. I used to see this all the time in retail locations, and it would always be in the clearance bin. I'd be like, 2018 Top Series 1. I'm not buying that. But there's some nice rookie cards in here uh, for sure. And uh, now if I see in the clearance bin, I jump all over it. Looking for Walker Bueller. And how about this one? A short print of Reese Hoskins' rookie card. If you look at the back, it ends in 43, and all the other cards don't. They all end in 67. So I've never seen that card before in my life. And there we go. Reese Hoskins short print rookie right off the bat. Also looking for guys like Yon Moncada would be a nice one to find in here as well. Let's see what else we can pull from these um, last few packs. There's a nice Richard Urania rookie card. We have a rainbow parallel after Joey Bats of Martin Prado. There's some literature about the uh, home run um, challenge where you pick the uh, home run date if you get one of those cards that a player is going to hit a home run and get some cards from him. I've never done it, but it's a fun little extra game. All right, so here's our next pack of 2018. There is a nice 1983 Cinder Guard, so that's a decent one. Um, not a lot of value to it, but I do like the 83 set. And by the way, we're working our way back with Throwback Thursdays. You might recall last Throwback Thursday, we did 1985 Tops. We did a nice From a Sealed Case Rack box. And um, not tomorrow, but Thursday, we will be doing a 1978 OPG box, which is going to be really fun because, of course, it's... Older than I am, and that anytime you open such an old box, it's interesting for sure. Looking for Eddie Murray's rookie card. And then the week after that, um, in about, uh, what do we got, nine days, we're doing 1984 from the sealed case uh, rack box. So look for that. You can sign up on Patreon for that one. Next up, we got Gypsy Queen from 2019. Let's see what we find in this one. We got Paul Goldschmidt leading things off. JT Rail Muto. Danny Jansen. Looks like we have a tear of the diamond. That's a Chris Davis. That's one in eight packs. And then Drelton Simmons is the last one there. So anytime you can find an insert, I guess, it's uh, it's good. We might have had our best luck of the day um, at the beginning with those uh, Ronald Acuna Juniors. But how about that one? Another tear of the diamond. These are one in eight packs. Again, not one in one like it's appearing. Shohei Otani, which is a good one right there. It's his second year card. His rookie card will be from 2018. We'll have a chance to pull Shohei Otani's rookie card in a minute here once we get to those 2018 Top Series 2. He's card number 700 in that set. And, of course, the big one we're after is the Ronald Acuna or Glaber Torres short prints. But those are, on average, one per case. And you probably think I'm lying now about the Tear of the Diamonds because we pulled three and four packs. There's a Craig Kimbrell Tear of the Diamond insert card. So I guess some good luck there. Next up, let's move ahead and do some... Don Ross from 2019 and see what we find. Shoyo Tani's on the front. 
hopefully we find some good stuff in here. Um, and we'll see. Hunter Renfro leads things off. There's a Blake Snell, Adrian Beltre. What else? Clayton Kershaw, Willie Adames, and our last one, Arodis Viscaino. Pack number two. I figured it would be good to try to do maybe like three or four packs each, just so, um, I don't know, a little bit of continuity and can talk a little bit about the set as we go along. We got some nice maybe pink hollow parallels coming up. We got an Albert Pujols and an all-rise Aaron Judge. That is a nice-looking card right there. I'm checking the back for a number. Usually, Panini puts the numbers on the front, but I want to make sure. No numbers on those. Trevor Story, who we pulled his rookie card out of 2016 update in this video, which was a nice pull for sure. Next pack up, we have... Ace. We have nice Kyle Freeland there leading things off. And then Eric Hosmer. There's Frankie Lindor. There's a Bregman. Ramon Lariana rookie card is a good one. I'm going to get that one in a sleeve. I think he's going to be a star based off his rookie year. Look that way, hitting 20 plus home runs and playing gold, glo gold glove caliber defense out in center field. What else do we have? We have a nice Aussie Albies. We pulled his rookie card earlier as well. The orange parallel version. Oscar Hernandez with some nice power numbers and low average, high power guy, sort of. Uh, kind of intriguing. Kevin Pillar is getting up there in age a little bit. And the last one there is Tanner Rainey from the Cincinnati Reds. So now let's continue. Let's knock out the rest of that top row. Let's do some Allen and Ginter from 2019. And then we will work on the middle stuff. There's a Salvi Perez, Bryce Harper. Got a Derek Jeter there, a mini of some elephant. And this guy whose name is Schwartz, some random, I don't even know. Um, I'm not going to bother reading that, but it looks like he's an enter entertainer of some sort. Alan and Ginter always puts those, I call them weirdo cards. I don't, but like, for example, that, I would be kind of, um, I don't know, if I spent, if I bought one pack and I got these two, I would be super mad. But then if I got a Pete Alonso rookie card in the same pack, I would be pumped. So Pete Alonso rookie card for Jaron. Congrats on the Alonso. Uh, so you got two Ronald Acuna Jr. rookies, and now you get a Pete Alonso. And guess what? You're going to have a shot at a few more great rookies from this Series 2 from 2019, as well as 2019 update. Looking forward to opening those. So I am kind of saving those for the end because those are the big ones. And, of course, Ryan O'Hearn shows his face there. Ryan O'Hearn kind of uh, trolled my channel last year. It seemed like every break I'd pull five or six of his autographs, him and Cedric Mullins. It was just disproportionate how many autographs we pulled of him. If you're a long-time subscriber, you'll remember all of that. There's Anthony Gwynn, a.k.a. Tony Gwynn. I don't even know why I call him Anthony Gwynn. Probably looking at all those um, Donruss cards I've been opening recently and seeing that card pulled out of the 2020 packs. All right, let's do 2018. Some Gypsy Queen featuring Mike Trout on the cover. Very beautiful-looking pack. I love that picture of Mike Trout. Um, definitely the face of baseball. I hope he plays his entire career with the Angels. He has a nice long contract there. We have an upside down Bryce Harper card here. It is missing the team name. So we have a parallel you'll see there. His team name there, Washington Nationals, is missing. So nice one right there. Thank you, Gypsy Queen, for putting that upside down to make sure I don't miss it. Sometime with Gypsy Queen, I do miss some of the parallels, but that one was kind of hard to do. How about a fortune teller, Mike? Uh, Trout there. I forget what those are in the packs. They might be one in 24. Uh, Fortune Teller Mike Trout is definitely a good car. Let's check out the back there real quick. I didn't do this on all of them because if I showed you the odds, we'd be here for like, I don't know, 45 minutes. You could check it out if you really want to see what the Fortune Teller one is. I feel like it might be one in 24. Maybe I'm wrong. All right. Anyway, we have a Lucas Giolito. We have another autograph. It's a Carlos Carrasco. So our second autograph Carlos Carrasco, a beautiful on-card auto. Carlos Carrasco, of course, was having a great um, career there. Got kind of sidetracked last season. Came down with leukemia, but he beat that. And uh, hopefully he will be back to full health and doing his thing again in 2020 once this season gets underway. And how about a bazooka back also? What a pack. So we have a Carlos Carrasco autograph. Check out the back of the car. It is numbered. Five of 25. How about that? A Wow, that's a big hit right there for Jaron. Five of 25, Carlos Carrasco. Check out that vintage Topps gum back. And we have a bazooka back as well. Right after that, it is an Eric Hosmer bazooka back. Numbered eight of 320. 
So some big time hits in this pack. Probably the best pack we pulled so far of Dipsy Queen. And again, these are out of blaster boxes. Uh, two autographs already out of blasters. Maybe I will do a retail break. Just literally just came up with this idea right now. What about a retail mixer of all these different products here where everyone gets a blaster box and we open up just like we did that 2020 mixer break not too long ago. That was definitely a blast. Um, I'll get my, I have a few blaster cases of, of different products that I buy from Patreon members to put packs together out of. And, uh, I don't know, that's, a, that's something that I might explore in the coming weeks. All right, now we're on to 2020. I got a Strasburg numbered 64 of 317 that doesn't beat the five. Five is the lucky number right there. There's a spacer that I'll write our next video sponsor's name on. There's a Blake Snell not numbered. We've got a Yu Chang rookie card and Cal Ripken Jr. Two more packs of 2020 coming up. Let's see what's coming out of our very first one. Or our second one, I should say. Or maybe this is our fourth one. I'm losing track there. I'm so thrown off by that Gypsy Queen pull there. There's a Jesus Lusardo number 312, 999. That's a nice one there. Cody Bellinger, not numbered. There's a Polar Bear. That's Pete Alonso, Isan Diaz, rookie. And now we are one more than my favorite stuff. Save my favorite three releases for last. And uh, we'll see what we pull out of those. There's Charlie Blackman. And how about a Luis Robert rated rookie card right there? Supposedly, I've read that's a short print, but it's, um, I don't know, I've seen it a lot uh, in my breaks that I've uh, pulled. But that is a good one for Jaron for sure. He is going to be a major star. All right, here we go. Where do I begin? Let's start with, the, oh, I don't even know. Let's do, let's do the 2018 first. Um, we did a whole case break on 2018 and... We were able to pull um, just amazing stuff out of there. Two Ronald Acuna Juniors, two Glaber Torrey Super Short Prints. There's a Corey Kluber. This one does not have a number on it. We have a show code coming up here, but we're not going to show that just in case Jaron still plays. We'll keep that code hidden. Um, you get 10 packs on that game. You can open them up and create a Diamond Dynasty team with those players. Kind of like what we did last night same basic idea we opened some packs last night there's show you a tawny rookie card we mentioned that one earlier and we got him it's a fun video of putting together a team there's reese hoskins rookie yet another reese hoskins rookie the best one though was that short print rookie out of the 2018 top series one that one not sure what it's worth but i am definitely curious let me know in the comment section how much that one's worth there's aj minter rookie card i feel like we've already seen that one once today there's a cody allen tops gold let's see what the number is on that one uh, 1723, nowhere near being the 5 out of 25. Again, we're doing a little contest to see what the lowest numbered card is. Uh, we go by the first number, so 5 is in the lead right now. Whoever guessed 5 or got closest to 5 will win all the cards in our Toss Back Tuesday Patreon exclusive video. It's a series that I do over there. I do uh, Toss Back Tuesdays, Fan Mail Fridays, and maybe I might have a couple other videos for the folks on that $9 and up tier on Patreon. How about Shoya Tawny Future Stars card? So two of his rookies and four packs, but no bat down. Uh, Kenya, but still not a bad uh, go there. All right, so we're down to our last two. We've got 2019 Tops Update. Let's see what we pull out of this. A Mitch Keller rookie card, who is the Pirates' Best pitching prospect got lit up last year in the big leagues. Carter Keyboom is a nice one right there. That's a rookie debut card. Nice looking card for sure. Jose Suarez. For a second there, I thought it might have been a short print because I didn't recognize that card. Um, but it's been a little while since we did um, Topps update. And um, it looks like it is a base card. I'll have to get back in the 2019 Tops update at some point. Maybe do another case break of those because there are lots of great rookie debuts and rookie cards in this set. Chris Paddock rookie card is a nice one. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie card, possibly the most sought after card in the set. Let me get that one in a sleeve for Jaron. Uh, also, guys like Nick Senzel in here. How about a Jesus Aguilar autograph? Very nice. Again, this is out of a blaster box. All three autos have been out of blasters. You don't see the hobby, the H designation on there. And this one is a red parallel Jesus Aguilar. Check out the back. It is numbered four of 25. That takes the lead. 
uh, as our lowest numbered card, beating the 5 of 25. We've had three autographs today. Jesus Aguilar, former All-Star, beautiful on-card auto there with the red 1984 border. Love that card. Beautiful looking card. Congratulations, Jaron, on that one. Four is the lucky number. Uh, I was not expecting to get this many autographs. I would have been happy with one and a bunch of great rookies. There's Austin Riley rookie card, another good one. Again, Jaron is a Patreon member, so I do video sponsorships now because I've accumulated so many cards that I was opening all these cards and just kind of, they were just piling up. So now I open up the cards for the cost of the cards or less and um, send them all to the person who... Uh, sponsor them. So Jaron's going to be getting all of these. There's a Justice Sheffield Gold rookie card. That one's 1208 out of 2019. How about a Nick Senzel rookie card? That's a nice one right there. Richie Martin rookie card. Lots of rookies in update. I'm interested to see if there's no season this year. What happens with this release? Do they do a 2019 or 2020 Tops update? I don't know. 2019 Tops update, of course, is chock full of September call-ups and um, all-star cards and rookie debut cards. Guys that traded or changed teams. There's a Brian Reynolds rookie card. That's another good one. He was a um, not uh, runner-up, but finalist for rookie of the year. There's a Cody Bellinger all-star game card. Pete Alonso rookie card. Nice one right there. It says all-star game rookie. So our second Pete Alonso rookie for Darren. And Jordan Lyles is the last one. So now we're on to the best. In my opinion, the best. Kind of worked my way uh, up to this. It's Series 2 of 2019. Lots of good rookies in this one, including Pete Alonso's base rookie card, including Fernando Tatis Jr., Aloy Jimenez. Vladimir Guerrero Jr.'s got a short print. There's an A.J. Happ. Frank Robinson's short print. Speaking of short prints, there's a Frank Robinson with a mop on his head. That is another short print. Joining the Reese Hoskins rookie card short print. It's been a fun video. I hope you guys will take a minute and please hit the subscribe button. If you have not already done it, all you have to do is click that red button next to my name on the YouTube channel and um, you will be subscribed and not miss any more videos. Uh, we do these videos every single day. Tomorrow we have a big one coming up. It's going to be a fun one. It's going to be a live stream breaking 2020 Tops Tribute. If you saw the preview video, there's some great stuff in that set. And then we'll be breaking again on Thursday at 7 p.m. Both of these streams are at 7 p.m. doing a 1978 OPG box. So look out for that, everybody. As we go through our last two packs, see what we can find. There's a Roberto Osuna, Dom Smith, you Darvish, Andrew Triggs, and Daniel Norris. So we're down to our last pack here. 73rd pack of the night. Lots of packs. These random pack videos I love doing when I'm picking packs. I just can't stop picking them out. And I was like, where am I going to start? What number should I pick? I counted them up. I was like at 68 or something like that. I was like, okay, I'll pick, I don't know, five more and we'll make it 73 for the most home runs in a single season set by Barry Bonds way back in 2001. So here's our last pack. We have an 84 card here of Dean Dietz, his rookie card. Jose Parasa. We got Jung Ho. We've got Cody Bellinger. We've got a Mike Montgomery and Ryan Presley is the last one. So, Jaron, thank you very much. I hope you are happy with your cards. I am definitely happy with the pools we had there. Three autographs. The lowest numbered card was numbered four out of 25, the Jesus Aguilar. Again, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, please like the video if you would. I would very much appreciate it. And I'll see you tomorrow in the live stream at 7 p.m. Eastern time, opening up a three cases of 2020 Tops Tribute. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you all tomorrow in the live stream. Good night, everybody.